everybody. It's Lisa here, and we are so excited to be back in your newsfeed, hopefully in your newsfeed somewhere in one of the social media lands. But we're thrilled to be here today. And we are actually here in Minnesota, and it is a gorgeous day outside. The sun is shining and such a beautiful fall day. So we are super thrilled to be back in your newsfeed to share a little bit more about our upcoming event. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Harris. I'm an author, a storyteller, a narrative coach, and the CEO and founder of Lisa Harris and Company. We are a personal development business that connects, guides, and transforms women's lives through the power of storytelling. And we do that through our narrative coaching and our narrative therapy um, focus. So we're thrilled to be here today to talk about our upcoming event. So back in 2020, like many of you, we started connecting with our women and our audience online. And we started our Unveiled Beauty Holding Hand events to really connect, comfort, and share with the women in our community and throughout the country. And we are continuing that for the third year in a row with our fall series. And October 13th is our second event called Who Am I? Labels, Identity, and Self-Discovery. And I'm thrilled to introduce you to one of our co-hosts for this upcoming event. So I'm going to really let her tell you about herself because she is pretty darn amazing. And I've been so honored to be able to meet her this past year. So we are recently connected and hit it off very quickly. She has had a chance to go through our Uncover Your Truth program and engage in a lot of our in-person events. So I'm delighted to introduce you to Kelly McEntee. And Kelly, please share with our audience a little bit about yourself. Hi, yes, my name is Kelly McEntee, and I'm going to try to speed talk so my camera doesn't, if I hop off, I'll be back. Um, <laughs> I am a coach, a connector, a mother, a wife, a, a woman, um, and I am really excited to be able to be in this space. And what I do specifically in my coaching business is I'm a coach for the woman who already, she loves herself, but she has a really hard time embracing that love for herself. And that can sometimes really stop her from being in her own power. And when she's able to embrace that, and that's the work that we do of coaching is embrace that love. Um, then she kind of, sees all the wild possibility that emerges. So she can do things like um, leave the job that she's not fulfilled by, change careers, go all in on her business, um, really be more in love with her marriage and her life and just show up in the world um, really as like people see perhaps this woman as this this being, this thing, this maybe see her as like this woman on a pedestal, but she doesn't feel that. I help women really find alignment with who they are um, so that they can be and feel kind of what the world already sees them as. I love that. I love that so much. And, and for all of you out there who are new to my platform or who haven't been connected with me or Kelly, here at Lisa Harrison Company, I really do love supporting other coaches. It is such meaningful work, and it's really important for especially high-achieving women to be able to do that personal development work and focus on, you know, taking themselves to the next level. And, and there are so many different coaches out there that focus on many different things. And I always encourage women to go out there and find that coach that they really connect with or that resonates their story or what area they focus on really resonates with them. And I love um, that you're here to, to continue to help help all women rise. And, and I think coaching really has a great ability to do that. And with the work that I do, we focus on our stories and narratives. I'm such a lover of storytelling and stories. And over the years, I've realized there's power in our stories mm -hmm. and there's power in the narratives and the stories we tell. And so that's the work that I do. And I'm so delighted to be able to highlight your work and so excited that you're going to be co-hosting our next event. Mm -hmm. So now, Kelly, we're talking about who am I? Mm -hmm. Labels, identity, and self-discovery. And there's a reason. I don't know the reason, but there's a reason that you're here co-hosting that event. So maybe you can share with our audience a little bit about maybe 
this topic or how you're going to be showing up um, in the space as it relates to this particular event. Yeah, I I just feel like this topic resonates so much with the, like the essence of, of my coaching and how I help women is that they can step in fully to their identity and choose, like make the conscious choice of what identities they hold on to and what ones they're willing to let go of. Um, and my own story that I'll be diving into a little bit more deeply is I've lived a lot of my life um, holding on to ident an identity that like isn't true. I was called fat or made fun of for being fat when I was younger. So I lived my life and immersed myself in places where like I didn't really want to be but thought I should be because I labeled myself as the fat girl. And I also really held myself back from a lot of opportunities because I was the fat girl. And I um, it also really shifted um, my relationship and perception perception of other people, especially those who maybe played a role in, in me creating that identity for myself. And I think that's a really important part that we don't talk a lot in this area of identity and that I'm really excited to perhaps dive into a little bit deeper as I've done my own deep dive self-discovery of that re recently is also how does our identity impact our relationships in the sense of like what we look for from people that we maybe are or are not giving to yeah. ourselves. Um, and so I really um, am excited to share what's come up. And of course, knowing that this is the topic that's going to be spoken on um, here in October, all sorts of things are popping into my life to help me um, hone in on what that message is, which it's kind of like a beautiful mess. And I'm so excited to figure out, even as I'm living my life in the weeks leading up, like, what is the true deep essence of, of my message? And um, it's, it's just, it's been really fun to explore yeah. um, identity and, and what yeah. we do and what we like hang our hat on and based on the hats that we wear. Yeah, I love it. I'm so excited about this particular event. I think it's so, it's at the root of coaching. It's at the root of who we are and how we show up in the world. And I think it's an ongoing um, evolution of self, but, you know, continuing, continuing to peel back the layers and understanding the labels um, that have been put on us or that we've created for ourselves, like you said, and then crafting our whole person around some of these things in a way that, you know, can be really empowering, but at times really holding us back. And um, it's a whole self discovery journal. That's the umbrella, right? It really is self discovery at its core. And I'm really excited because what we have on this platform is four incredible co hosts that are so different, so amazing, but willing to step up and and share pieces of themselves so that other women can feel, you know, more empowered and more open to doing the work and, and knowing that here are these really powerful, intelligent women who also are brave and bold enough to be vulnerable. And I'm so thrilled that you're going to be leading this discussion and having the chance to get to know you over this last, God, it's probably been almost a year now. Um, Let's do it, I but think. getting to know you has just been such a delight. And I'm just so thrilled that you are going to be talking about this. It's going to be really incredible. And the one thing at these events that has been so beautiful is not only the, the bold sharing that our co-hosts do, but the engagement. There's going to be a lot of great um, either questions or, you know, reflection time. And between all of the co-hosts, they'll be guiding us through some of that and and it's going to be an, an amazing space where we can just give back to ourselves. And I know that can be really hard. So on that topic, we talked about um, the other day, there's so much going on, right? I mean, mm -hmm. social media is so busy. Our lives are so busy. And, you know, there's a lot of moms on this platform, not only moms, but there are a lot of moms, just really busy women doing a lot and juggling a lot. So why, you know, why should they take, you know, two hours out of their day on October 13th? Why should they come to this event? That's really, you know, one question I really want to ask Kelly and see, you know, what your, what your thoughts are on that. 
give the ladies a little something to um, think about. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's going to be everything you wanted and more than you ever knew you needed is what I, how I would describe it. Um, and even to notice, like you pay attention to yourself as you're watching these videos and the marketing and us talking about this, like pay attention to yourself. There's likely this desire, this ping, this like, yes, I want to do it met with resistance. And that's because as a lot I've found, I've like been besties with resistance in the last year <laughs> and like the biggest <laughs> breakthroughs have occurred from that. Um yeah which has been an intentional act. Um, but with anything that we really want to do, anything that is a, a hell yes, is like something that you know is going to help you. A lot of times it, there is some inconvenience to be had. You have to show up. You have to perhaps arrange like if someone else is going to be in charge of bedtime. And I just want to offer that you can allow yourself that you can allow yeah. yourself this space and time and know and trust that sometimes the slowdown like this two-hour immersion of this experience is going to be the thing to catapult you um this, sometimes there is immense speed up in the slowdown and this could be that for you if you allow it to be that yeah i think that's a beautiful message and and we all know um sometimes there takes work and there takes effort to see the beauty on the other side. Um, not always, not everything should be super hard, right? Not everything should be super hard, but there are definitely times when there is an, a resistance to something. When Even if it's as simple is. as like your brain saying, oh, you don't need this. Oh, yeah. like that's indulgent or, oh, but it's so subtle sometimes that the way that we make things hard for ourselves, it doesn't need to be. Yeah, exactly. And so we invite you to join us. It's two hours. It really is a beautiful space. And, um, you know, we have really cultivated such an amazing community of sisters, we like to call them. And so we invite you to join us. And, and we have a lot of high achieving women that we say, you know, they're achieving in all sorts of things in life. And um, their, their definition of success is looks very different, but we're all in community together to really talk about um, our journey of self-discovery. And so we invite you to join us on October 13th is a Thursday night from seven to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I say central because not only is one of our co-hosts you know, on Eastern Standard Time, but we do have women all over the country that join us and we hope that you do join us. And again, our event is called Who Am I? Labels, Identity, and Self-Discovery. And Kelly McEntee will be one of the co-hosts. And we hope that you will join us for this really special evening. So is there anything else that you want to tell our audience today? Yeah, I would just like to share um, and reflect back to you, Lisa, the work that you do that... Um, just how I said, like this event will be everything you wanted and more than you ever knew you needed. I know I want to create a story. I want to share. I want to be in this, like a, a space to speak and have my story help other people. And I didn't know the healing that still needs to be had. Um, but the, like the microscope that you put on the healing within us that just helps us go and get to the next level of who you want to be. So I just want to shout out and honor and recognize the deeply profound and impactful work that you are doing and creating in the world. And um, I re recently heard this quote, when you change, a, so I'm a mom, when you change a mom, you change the family. And that to me was just so huge. Yeah, and I love to think about like the mothers and women that you're changing and that's changing legacies. Um, and that's changing. Okay, now you're going to make me cry and I'm not afraid to cry on my interviews, but, um, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Very heartfelt. I love this work and I'm so, um, grateful to do it. And I'm grateful to be in community with other women who also appreciate it, but are also doing their own work for themselves and for other women. Mm -hmm. Um, we need each other. Um, no matter where you are on the rung of the corporate ladder or no matter where you are at home 
or whatever entrepreneurial or creative pursuits you're doing, um, it's best to lean into each other. And the only the way that we can do that is to show up and open up to each other. So I hope all of you will join us. And I personally am super excited because these co-hosts are rock stars. So thank you, everybody. And we hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are. And um, a shout out to our friends, friends in Florida, actually. I just wanted to um, send um, a heartfelt message out to those in Florida right now. I know there's a lot of families and women um, impacted by the hurricane. And I just want to um, send a blessing and um, positive thoughts um, if you are in harm's way in that uh current disaster. So um, please take care. And we look forward to seeing you online at our event on October 13th. Thank you. Bye, everybody.